Hello, and I know this video is way overdue. This is about our experience using Mormus at three gallons per acre on mixed grass hay, and what kind of results did we get? Here's the background story. In 2018, starting about March through about uh, May, why we shot three gallons of Mormus per acre just on mixed grass hay. And um, we was expecting a yield increase and a, a quality increase as well. Well, Mother Nature intervened with a uh, rather dry year near drought conditions, so our yields were off about half to sometimes just a third of what we was normally getting. But it affected everybody else in the same manner, and since my yields are greatly increased from what they was when we was doing things conventionally, I don't know if I got hurt worse or less, but anyway, we was off on yields. But our quality shot way up. In 2017, our proteins ranged from 11 to 15%. In 2018, our proteins ran from 17 to 20% protein. That's pretty big, at least to me. As far as to the what kind of impact did it have on the animals that we had fed with it, uh, some background there, most of my customers are pretty varied. Um, this hay product was fed to uh, sheep, goats, horses, cows, pretty much everything you can think of except for llamas. And um, we had some pretty, for the most part, we had pretty well expected results. The cows ate it better, of course. They preferred this hay over you know, anything else that was thrown at them. But uh, well, we had some exceptional results too. Uh, one of the first reports I got back was somebody's goat went way up on milk production. I don't know if it was the hay or if it was something else, but, and then the doozy of it all was uh, one of my customers had a, customers had a horse that had some kind of cancer. And uh, between using the Ormus hay, some uh, essential oil treatments and probably several other things, this horse is now cured of cancer, which is, I don't know if that's ever been done before. And I don't know if it was the hay or not, but I think anything that went into this project is probably significant. So to sum it up, uh, will I do it again? I'm going to. Um, it's gonna be delayed this year due to some financial stuff, mainly due because of the drought last year. But uh, I will shoot Ormus on the entire place again if, it, if any way possible. Would I recommend other people to do it? Yes and no. Uh, if you have a need or a market for higher quality hay, where you can offset the cost of this stuff, which is about $18 an acre, uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, you'll, you'll see something. Uh, if you don't, I did not see an increase in yield to uh, make up the difference. Uh, I think that pretty well sums everything up about, about the whole matter. It doesn't take that much time to do and it's not all that hard but you know again if you're doing it way early in the spring while you don't have a whole lot else going on so why not uh, this year may be different because i'm gonna to uh, bail up my first cutting and then the race is on will i have time to get it done i guess we're gonna have to find out but anyway that's all i have for today